Hello, dear students. Today I want to suggest you a very interesting topic for speaking. Let's talk about the rational use of your free time. The rules of our lesson. Smile a lot. Communicate. Be active. Enjoy speaking English. Be creative. Today we'll speak about your favorite activities, about your hobbies. We'll read about famous men's hobbies. And also we'll try to write about our hobbies. Twice happy is the man who has a hobby. Do you agree? Please, name your hobbies. Maybe this? Cake decorating. Card tricks. Collecting railway models. Kite flying. Sandboarding. Underwater hockey. Zobin. Ice climbing. Thank you. Now match the words and make up word combinations. Write the answers. 1. Going. 2. Playing. 3. Eating. 4. Riding. 5. Collecting. 6. Watching. 7. Listening. 8. Doing. 9. Reading. 10. Keeping. A. A bike. B. To music. C. Out. D. Computer games. E. Books. F. TV. G. Pets. H. Ice cream. I. Sports. J. Stamps. Check yourselves, please. You know that different people have different ideas of how to spend their free time. For some of them, the only way to relax is watching TV. What is interesting to one person can be boring to another. That's why some people prefer reading, cooking, knitting, collecting, playing a musical instrument, painting, photography, fish keeping or playing computer games, while others prefer dancing, traveling, camping or sports. And now retell about your hobby. Use the following expressions. Be fond of be keen on, be interested in, be afraid of, enjoy doing something, hate doing something. And now we'll read the text and your task is to answer the questions. Busiest men find the most leisure. Bill Gates is a very busy man, but he likes doing a lot of things. First, he is keen on traveling. Second, he is interested in playing golf and discussing the latest news in computing. Then he is crazy about flying a delta plane and he is fond of extreme sports. He is never bored with riding a snowboard. And now answer the questions. Is Bill Gates a very busy man? 
What does he like to do in his free time? Use phrases can on, formed of, interested in. Thank you. And what is your hobby? Vicky and Ken. They are editors of Internet Magazine. Vicky and Ken receive a lot of emails every day. Help them to correct mistakes. Допоможіть їм виправити помилки. Thank you. Check yourselves, please. Now your task is to make sentences of the words. Take one word from each column. Let's check. I am interested in gardening. I am keen on traveling. I am fond of drawing. I enjoy traveling. I am crazy about football. I am bored with cycling. I am good at swimming. I like dancing. Now open your books on page 166, exercise 2. Listen to the conversation between Amy and Carlos. Keep the sentences true or false. Carlos, we are having a great time here, I think. Interesting lessons, wonderful parties, educational trips. There is something new to learn every day. What I like most is the chance to participate in extracurricular activities. I have joined the jazz band. Amy, that's great. Jazz is one of the greatest forms of music originated from the USA. The home of jazz in Britain is Ronnie Scott's Club in London. What musical instrument do you play? I play the trumpet and Dennis plays the saxophone. We are going to take part in the cultural presentation next week. You'll be able to hear me play. What club have you chosen for yourself? I am fond of sports and games. My favorite sport is basketball. I am in the school team. There is the basketball game on Wednesday. Come to the sports ground and watch me play. With great pleasure. I'd like to come. Thank you for the invitation. And now take the sentences true or false. Children have time for extracurricular activities at school. The boys have joined the jazz band. Amy plays the trumpet. There is the cultural presentation on Wednesday. Carlos can watch Amy play his musical instrument next week. Amy is busy and can't see the basketball game. Thank you and now check yourselves. And now your task is to read the sentences and guess at the club. You can join if you are interested in acting on the stage. You can join if you are interested in the past of your country. You can join if you are an active person and want to keep fit. You can join if you write poems or stories. Let's check. First, Dreamer Club, second, Historical Club, third, Fitness Club, fourth, Literary Club.
Open your books on page 168. Exercise 7. Write what extracurricular activities you would like to take part in and which of the clubs you might join. Explain your choice. For example, I would like to join the debating team. I love discussing different questions. I think I can easily persuade the listener of my point of view. Oh, I am fond of literary and art. I enjoy going to the theater and I am willing to perform on the stage. I think that I might join the drama club. Now read a short story and answer the questions. Is Sam very busy? What team is he in? What does he do on Wednesdays? When does he meet his friends? What board game does Sam like playing? Who does Sam spend time with at the weekend? What does he help his mother do? My friend Sam is a very busy person. When he is not doing his homework or studying, he is out having quite a lot of activities. On Mondays he goes swimming after school. He practices a lot because he is in the school team. Then on Wednesdays he goes to computer club. On Thursdays he plays chess and then on Fridays he meets his friends in the city center. And the weekend Sam always spends time with his family. He usually goes fishing with his dad and helps his mom with the shopping. And now answer the questions. Now it's time for grammar. Open your books on page 167. Today we'll study the rules of using the words so and such. So and such make the words after them stronger. Прислівник so та прикметник such, які перекладаються як такий, посилюють значення слів, перед якими вони стоять. We use so before adjective or adverb, and we use such before noun, or before adjective plus noun. Вживаємо so перед прикметниками та прислівниками, ми вживаємо such перед іменниками, які можуть бути в реченні пов'язані з прикметниками. For example, this book is so interesting. This is such an interesting book. Ця книга така цікава. Це така цікава книга. This story is so boring. This is such a boring story. Ця історія така нудна. Це така нудна історія. Let's do exercise 5 on page 167. Read and complete the sentences with the soul or such. Now check it, please. Open your books on page 168, exercise 6. Discuss the situations. Use so or such. The first. You are planning a school party. Decide which play are you going to stage. Who will play the leading roles? For example, I think Elena will play the leading role. She sings so well. The second situation. You want to organize a talent show in your school. Discuss when you will have a party, what each of you can prepare for it, and what costumes you will wear. Your home task is to write an email to your friend. Retell what extracurricular activities you would like to take part in and which of the clubs you will join. 
Thank you for your work. Be healthy.